Hey, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am finally gonna be decluttering through some of my collection. The goal is to get through all of it. Um, I'm getting a very late start right now. It's after eight o'clock at night. I don't know why I waited so long, but I'm gonna get through some of it tonight and then the rest I will do as the week progresses. I'm doing a deep dive, getting rid of stuff that I don't use anymore, stuff that's expired, stuff that I just want to get out of my collection, so that's what we're doing today. This is going to be a very all-encompassing makeup declutter. So, haven't fully decided if I want to break this down into several videos or not, because it's going to be very long. So, I guess we'll find out as we're watching this. So that's what we're doing today. If that sounds interesting, please be sure to stick around. But if you're just now making it to my channel and you're not already subscribed... Maybe you've been lurking a little bit. You've been enjoying other videos of mine. If that's the case, please tap that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell while you're at it so you don't miss my future uploads. Let's get into this declutter. They make no video on my watch, woman. What? Okay, this is going to be really interesting. This is a, a much different setup from, obviously, from what you all are used to seeing. And <laughs> we're just going to make it work here. I feel like things are a little lopsided. It is what it is. Y'all, I just counted. I have 80, 80 mascaras. Now that includes all of the miniatures that I'm going to show you. So I have a bunch of like sample sizes in here as well. I have been, a, and this is going to like throw a lot of people for a loop here, but I'm a pack rat. Okay. I hate getting rid of things. I collect things. Um, I have a problem. And a lot of these, well, maybe not a lot of them, but a, let's just say a, a good deal of these, uh, I guess that's the same thing, have been accumulating for several years. Now, there's plenty in here that I've never tried, but if I don't know which ones those are, and I know I've had them for longer than six months, then I'm going to pitch it out, which is going to be the majority of these. So you're going to see a lot of these mascaras take a hike today. So no more talking. Let's just get into it. Right on top, this ColourPop mascara. This one's in the shade Brownie Points, and it's their brown mascara. I'm going to hang on to this for right now. I don't think I've had it that long. This Lancome, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's their lash primer, whatever it is. It's like that, if I can get it open, it's that white one. I've had this one for a very long time. That one's got to go. Maybe I should just start, a, we'll start a little declutter pile right there. It's going to fill up very quickly. The Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I also got one of these. I feel like I got an extra one in, a, in an Ipsy box or, or something like that, and I put it in a different pile. So I'm actually going to declutter this one and keep the other one because I've had that for a long time. Um, and it's okay. This one's not terrible, but it's it's definitely not my favorite mascara. Uh, this one by Pixie, the Lash Lift. I just wasn't all that impressed with it. There's two different wands to it. We've got one for like your lower lashes, and then you've got the bigger wand on the other side, um, you know, for the, the top lashes, I just wasn't impressed with, with the formula, so I'm going to get rid of that. The Voluminous Lash Paradise from Maybelline. I feel like I've had this. Or is it L'Oreal? It is L'Oreal. Whoops. I feel like I've had this too long. That's going to go. This one is from Lorac. I have no idea when I got this one, but I don't use it, so that's going. Told you this was going to be quick. Um, the Essence, What the Flake. <laughs> This did not knock my socks off, and I've had it for a while, so this one's going to go. This one's from Hard Candy. Um, I've had it for quite a while. It's just nothing to write home about. I wasn't excited about it. This one's going to go. We have this one here from CoverGirl. Peacock Flare. Uh, I didn't hate it, but it's definitely, like, most certainly older than, like, a year. I think I bought it for a video, like, a year ago. Um, and I did use it, so that's going to go. My Legit Lashes from Tarte. What? No, light, not Legit Lashes. Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. I feel like I've had this. Do I have another one of these? You know what? No, I bought this one as an extra and I got a, I got rid of the other one, so I'm going to keep this one. This Tarte Maneater Waterproof. I just bought this not long ago. It's one of my favorite mascaras. That's not going anywhere. The MAC, uh, which one's this one? Max Stack. Yeah, this one's not going anywhere. This one's really good and it's also newer. My Beloved Benefit Roller Lash. Not going anywhere. Also newer. Uh, this one's from BH Cosmetics. I've had this for years. I don't even know if I ever used it, but it's, like I said, I've had it for years. That's got to go. Um, this is one that I got, I think, in an Ipsy. This one is from 
Botanic Beauty. I feel like I tried this and I didn't care for it. I don't remember. Nourishing Mascara. Um, well, I mean, the formula still looks like it's good. It's still super wet. Oh, it's got fibers in it. Does it? Well, it doesn't say that it has fibers in it. I think this one, this one's gotta go. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of that one. This one is from Collab, another one that I just wasn't all that impressed with, and it's old. We're gonna have to make another pile here. This is my MAC Magic Extension Mascara. I love this one. It does have the little fibers in it, which scares me a little bit with all the eye problems I've been having here recently. So it's really not that old yet though, so I'm actually gonna keep that one. This is the Best Info uh, from Tarte, and this is crazy. If you guys have ever seen this, I don't even know how to describe it. It's got all these little hairs all over it, it looks bananas. Do you see that? Look at that. Like, if you've never seen this, it's scary. And I don't want that anywhere near my eyeballs. I don't even know why I kept on to it this long. That's going. Plus, it's old. Tarte Man Eater. Told you this was one of my favorites. Actually, I think I have an extra one in here. Maybe not. But, oh, I threw it away. That's why. This one is not that old. I had bought a backup because it's one of my favorite mascaras. So that one's not that bad. This is one that I got off of Wish. I believe it was Wish. This is supposed to be like super volumizing. Um, and I haven't even op opened it yet. I'm honestly a little bit scared. Should we open it just for the uh, sake of this video? I don't know that I want to use it. <laughs> I'm nervous. I mean, that's a pretty legit looking uh, mascara tube, huh? Oh, it feels super cheap. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. You see it? Super dry. Okay, so that's trash. Glad that I actually checked that out because I was probably going to keep it. We're making some headway here. Whoa. The Merit Beauty, I forget what the name of this one is, Perfect Black Mascara. This one's semi-newer to my collection, um, definitely not old enough to have to declutter, so we're going to keep it. It's not a favorite. The Maybelline Sky High. When did I buy this? I feel like it's been a little while. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, the formula still looks good, but it was stuck, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. It's a decent mascara, but I don't know how long I've had it. The Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. This was like an old holy grail for a lot of people because it's super affordable. It's Essence. I bought it not long ago, actually, just because I wanted to give it a try again. So I'm going to keep that. It's not old. My Unlashed from Wander Beauty. This one's, um, I think this one's kind of old. Yeah, it's got to be. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Stop trying to keep shit and just uh, make these decisions here. The Bite. What's this called? The Upswing. Yeah. I got this from Influencer probably last year sometime. That needs to go. The Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. I've had this for several years. That needs to go. I really like that one. It hurts to get rid of it, but it needs to go. The Fenty Beauty. I think this is the Full Frontal. It is. How do I remember things like that? I don't know. Um, this one's actually a newer one to me. I've only used it like once. And the formula still looks good, so we're going to keep that. Is it driving y'all crazy that everything's sideways? I don't know how to fix it. I've tried. Like, my camera does not want to level here. So I just put all of the ones that I'm keeping up front. Um, you all would be really proud of me. I think, comparatively, I've gotten rid of over half so far. Um, so now we're going to get into all of these little miniatures back here. I just realized I wasn't filming and I had already gone through a couple. So I'm not going to backtrack. There's so freaking many of them anyway. I used to be part of like five or six beauty subscription boxes. And they would send mascaras all the time. So that's where a lot of these came from. And then the rest of them came from points. Um, like, you know, trading in points for them from Sephora. 
or getting them as samples from Alta and Sephora, whatever. So, yeah, that's where a lot of these came from. But the majority from beauty subscription boxes. This is the Mile High Club from Wander Beauty. I know I've had this for a long time. I can't exactly remember how long. The formula still feels nice because I haven't used it. I think I used it maybe once, but I'm not interested. I'm just going to pass it along, throw it in the trash. This is the Lancome Excessive Black. Is that what it's called? Oh, the Hypnos Drama. Um, I don't know if I've tried this. Have I tried you? Ooh, I'm going to keep that one. I don't think I've even ever tried. Well, there's cat hair all over it. Maybe I did. You know what? Let's just get rid of it. <laughs> the Benefit They're Real Magnet Mascara. I've definitely tried this one. And it feels like it's starting to dry a little bit. So let's just get rid of it. The Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. Do I have another one of these? I thought I did. Mm. All right, let's check the formula on this one. I don't I don't remember when I got this. Um seems a little dry. Let's just get rid of it. I just don't want to chance it with my eyeballs anymore, especially with all the issues I've had with my eye. I feel like maybe it was because some expired mascara. Who knows? This one is from Pure. This is their fully charged mascara. It's still sealed in the cellophane. So I guess I can keep it. Do I even want it? I don't want it. I'm going to get rid of it. Making big decisions over here. The Benefit Roller Lash. This is a mini size version of it. The formula feels super dry. I'm going to get rid of that. This is from Duce. They're Max Lash. Uh, I feel like I got this from a birch box a long time. Ew. Yeah, that wand is just scary. Um, and I got it a long time ago, so that needs to go. I'm so proud of myself. Wait till y'all see this pile. The Tartist um, Mascara from Tarte. When did I get you? Because I don't remember. Uh... It's still got a lot of product in here, and I feel like it, it... I don't think I've ever even used this, so I'm actually going to keep that one. This one is from Urban Decay. It's their Troublemaker Mascara, and it's dried, so get rid of that one. I have a brand new Their Real Magnet Mascara from Benefit, so I'm going to keep this. I have a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes in a travel sized, and it's very dry, so that's going to go. This is how I plan on treating my entire collection. Um, this was easy just because this is like eye products. And I'm scared of having stuff near my eyeballs that's really old. The rest of the collection is going to be a little more difficult. Ciate London Wonderland. I have no idea when I got this, but it's very dry. So that's going. We need to speed this up. I have a little miniature version of the It Cosmetics Superhero. That's dried out. I have the Lancome Diff... Diff Definicils. I don't know how you pronounce that. I don't know. I don't think I've used this before, but I feel like this is a really old sample, so that's going. I have a little mini of the Sills Booster. This, again, is their lash primer. I don't know when I got that either, and I'm scared of it, so that's going to go. The L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base. This is supposed to be like a dupe of the one I just showed you. I don't know when I got that. I'm just scared, though. Like, ever since my eyes started acting funny, I'm just nervous about putting things near my eye that uh, that's old. Oh, I have another one of those from L'Oreal. Have I ever even opened this? Yeah, because you can see crud around the inside of it. Let's just get rid of it. I don't use lash primers anyway. This one's from Tarte, their Sugar Rush line. This is their Lash Smoothie. Um, I'm going to assume this is another primer. Or not. <laughs> uh, very dry formula. It's got to be old. That's going. Another one of the Lancome Definicils, or however you pronounce that. Very dry. That's going to go. Lordy, I've gotten rid of a lot. This is the Chanel something, something, something. I don't, pretty sure I've never tried this. Didn't even know I had it. Whoa, that's a scary looking wand. Y'all see that? 
interesting no less, but uh, very scary looking. I don't, I don't know if I've ever tried that. I don't like how nasty that formula feels really thick. That's gonna go. This is the Grand Mascara Conditioning Peptide Formula. Um, it's still got the wrapper on it, so I'm gonna keep that. This is from Mac. It's their 3D. What is it called? In Extreme Dimension Three. Oh, their Black Lash. I really, really liked this one, but I'm pretty sure this one's old. Yeah, this one's old. That's got to go. Is it? I don't have another one like that, do I? I do. Hold on. Let me compare the two here. I don't know which one. I don't know which one's older. Do they smell funny when they get old? I don't know. Is there a date on the back of them? You know what? I'm just not even going to take the chance. Let's just get rid of them both. I haven't opened Great Lash from Maybelline. Considering I have one that's not open yet, we're going to get rid of that one. I have a super fan from Smash... Is this Smashbox? I feel like... this has got cat hair all over the place. I feel like this is Smashbox. It is. I feel like I have several of these because I do. I have three of them. So that formula looks okay. I don't even know if I've ever tried this one. This formula... Doesn't look as good as the other one. Let's throw that. And this formula. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do I even want to keep any of these? I feel like this one's the newest because it doesn't have any crud on the inside of it. Yeah, I guess. Let's just keep that one. The Mascara Melt Off from Too Faced. I don't think I've ever tried this. Oh, it's like an oil. You know what? Let's keep that. I've never tried it. They're Real from Benefit. I've had so many of these samples. I also still have one in the box. So I'm going to keep the one in the box and get rid of the one that was already open. The Magic Extension. I have the full size of this one. Have I ever used... Oh, yeah, it's dried. That's got to go. Wow, y'all are going to be so proud of me. This is another one of the Lancome, Lancome, what? Lancome, ew, look how old that is. The primer, it, like it's so old, it's got like, it's mushed all of the little bristles, gross. That's trash. That's gross, that's gonna go in the garbage. The Grand Mascara, I have no idea how long I've had this one. Which is not a good sign, y'all. Formula still feels really nice, but I'm just, I'm gonna pitch it. <laughs> I need to go through my whole collection with this attitude. The Ico Blot Rock what? Rock out rock out and lash out mascara. Whew, that was tough to say for some reason. Who? Um, that's an interesting wand. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I don't pretty sure I've never used that. I'm a little scared of it. The formula is very wet. I'm gonna get rid of it. Wow, look, this is all that's left so far. The Climax Mascara from NARS. This one is super old. And it's dried out. That's going. Shoo, we're almost done. The Lancome Monsieur Big. I don't remember when I got this one. The formula still feels really nice on it. I feel like there is cat hair everywhere. And I just cleaned this area. I feel like this is a newer one that I got. So I'm going to keep it. Another, another one of these. Good God, I had like five of them. I guarantee at least a couple of these were good, but I don't know which ones, so trash. I need to come up with a better system when I get little samples and whatnot. Put the new ones in a little, you know, corner so I know which ones haven't been used. The Too Faced Better Than Sex, I have no idea when I got this one. And to be honest with you, this is one of those mascaras that smudges underneath your eyes. Looks beautiful when you first put it on, and then it smudges like hell, so that's going in the trash. Another one of the It Cosmetics Superhero. Um, again... Yeah, that's really dried out and nasty. So, let me count how many I still have, and we'll figure out um, how many I kept and how many I got rid of. So, I'm keeping 21, which is still a lot, which I recognize, but I started out with 80. 
So I'm decluttering 59 and I'm keeping 21. Not too shabby. Um, I'm really happy about that. I'm excited that I don't have to dig through all those mascaras anymore when I do my makeup because it's overwhelming and I don't want to get an eye infection. So yeah, I would say that's pretty successful um, compared to what I started with. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do for this drawer, so first and foremost, if you're looking at my Alex drawers, it's the second drawer down, and it's full of face palettes, and I'm just ready. Some of it needs to go. My Scott Burns blush palette, I really love this one. This one's definitely not going anywhere. My In the Balm of Your Hand from the Balm. I actually kind of like this one. I like the fact that it's got their Bahama Mama. Hello! I like the fact that it's got their Bahama Mama um, bronzer in here. It's actually pretty neutral, not too shabby, and then it's got three blush shades plus some eyeshadows, so I'm actually going to keep that one. So this Kimchi Drama Queen highlighter palette, this is just not for me. This is, it's just not my jam, so that's actually going to go. This Duo Light Highlight Palette from BH Cosmetics is one of my favorite colorful highlight palettes. It's so underrated. I don't know if it's still available. But I absolutely love this whenever I'm going for a colorful look and I can incorporate these shades. Yes, I'm keeping that. The Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. I really enjoy this one. I like the different tones in here. And there's cat hair in it. That's the running theme here in all my stuff. Yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. The In Nude Indo from ColourPop. This one's a really pretty highlight palette. I think it's supposed to be pretty similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits. I just don't ever use it like ever ever and really the only shade that's going to match me anyway is this lighter one. But you know what? I talk a big game about doing other people's makeup so this would be something super helpful if I'm doing whoops a deeper skin tone because it's got these deeper tones in here and that's something that I don't have like in the rest of my collection with my singles. So I'm going to keep this just for the sheer sake of having something to do other people's makeup with. But otherwise, I probably would have gotten rid of it. The Soph X from Revolution Beauty, Makeup Revolution. This was a very hyped up highlighter palette when I first bought it, which was a while ago. And it's quite shimmery, but I just don't ever use it, especially because I have so many. There's just really no reason for... That's pretty. See, that's when I need to walk away. There's just no reason for me to keep it. I don't use it. Now, I guess I need to give a little disclaimer. So before I throw things away, and if it's still in good condition where, I, where it doesn't need to be thrown away, I will always ask my daughter or my niece first if they want to keep something, and then I get rid of it if not. A lot of this stuff is pretty old, so I wouldn't feel comfortable giving it to other people. Um, you know, especially if, if I've been the one using it, I feel comfortable with my daughter using it. But other than that... I'm not going to give it to random people. Next up in here are these three little stacks from Tarte. It was like a holiday collection that I got several years back. It's got several blushes. I think a highlight or a bronzer. Yeah, and it's for, for like different skin tones. I don't know if their idea was like buy one and give one to your friends type of thing. Um, but these definitely don't, like some of these don't suit my skin tone. Like what am I going to use that for? You can barely see it. It didn't swatch very well. It's just too deep for my skin tone. But again, maybe I should keep it if I'm going to do people's makeup. I love this one, however. Ooh. Should I keep that just for that shade? I just might. The first one, I was. I, I don't need that one. I've definitely got these tones elsewhere, so that one's going to go. And then I think this was... Is this the lightest one? We got a bronzer, a blush... And then, or is this the one I already opened? I can't remember. Yeah, that's like a really orange type of um, bronzer. So I'm going to get rid of this one too. I'm only going to keep the darkest one. Am I even going to use it? You know what? Let's get rid of it. I'm not going to use it. I don't know why I do that to myself. Let's just get rid of it. The Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. Now, I bought this one several years ago. Whoops. And, or did I get it? No, I bought this one. And I was so excited to have it, and it's so pretty, and it is. It's beautiful, but I don't ever use the damn thing. feel the formula here. I mean, the formula still feels really nice. 
Do I need to keep it? I feel like I need to keep it and get some more use out of it. I'll be really pissed at myself if I don't. So I'm going to keep that one. It is beautiful. My Rouge Romance palettes from Jaclyn Cosmetics. These aren't going anywhere. I absolutely love these blush palettes. There's such an amazing variety of tones in here. Like, look at these warm tones. They are right up my alley. And then these really beautiful cool tones. Yeah, definitely not going anywhere. Love those. My Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlighting Palette. These are no longer available, but I really, really liked this. Like, I can use all of these. Yeah, perfect for my skin tone. Um, not going to get rid of that. Plus, I love the bougie packaging. It's like, it's pretty bougie. This Benefit Palette is so freaking old. I've had it for a really long time. But with powders, I'm not as like worried about getting rid of stuff. I just feel like powders hold on and they keep their, um, you know, their quality a lot longer than like creams and stuff would. I really do like this one and it's one of the first face palettes I ever bought. I'm actually going to keep it. The Unicorn Glow. This one is from Face Candy when Face Candy was around. It was a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Actually, I think I have this one. I do. It's actually right here. Hold on. Yeah. Look at that. What a dupe, right? And believe it or not, the face candy one's pretty decent. It's not bad. But I mean, if I have the real deal, why do I need a dupe? I don't, so we're going to get rid of it. So you already saw this one. I like a couple of the shades in here. This one broke. That's why it looks busted. Um, but I like this for colorful looks. I can grab something out of here and just have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to keep that one. The Black Light Highlight Palette from BH Cosmetics. This was another one of those, like, first palettes I ever bought, highlighter palettes I ever bought. And I was so excited because it was like, oh, there's a green highlight. It's really nothing spectacular when you look at it now compa compared to some of the other highlights I have. And I really don't reach for this one, so I'm actually going to get rid of this one. The Aldo Balm from The Balm. Oh, this one's hard to open. There we go. This has a nice little variety of... Oh, well, I don't know what that's supposed to be because that's too dark to be a highlight on me anyway maybe for a deeper skin tone a bronzer and two blushes I just don't ever reach for it and there's really no reason for me to hang on to it so that's gonna go look this feels good y'all this is the morphe trio in pop of pink and I mean it's pretty I guess I just don't ever use it do I want to keep it am I gonna use it Am I going to force myself to use it? I feel like I want to. Let, let, I'm going to hang on to this one. I feel like I want to get some use out of that. Another Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighting palette. I grabbed this one. Where did I get this from? Did I buy this from somebody? I can't remember. No, I think I got it on her website. I don't know why I picked this one up. It's too deep for my skin tone, but I can use it on a deeper skin tone, so I'm going to keep it. All right, what else do we have lurking back here? Oh, here you come. Here you come. What are you doing? Getting into stuff, like usual. Get out of there. Okay, let's see what else is hiding back here. This is my Tartus Pro Glow palette from Tarte, and it is rather old. Um, there's some really amazing highlights in here, but I've had this for quite some time now. Do I want to hang on to this? Do I need to? I mean, I really don't need to. I feel like I've got those... No, nope, I'm going to get rid of that one finally, once and for all. Not a bad palette, I just I just don't need it. This is another Morphe palette. Their Lo-Fi, I think is what this is called, isn't it? Yeah, 8L. Do I need you? I do like the shade Supernova. It's a really beautiful, like, orangey, pinky shade. And I feel like I have Lit in a single, because I liked that one too. But in terms of like the bronzers, they're just too warm toned for me. Do I need to give it another try? Nope, I don't. And I'm not going to. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't use it. See? This is why I didn't want you in here. Because you like to mess with stuff and it makes noise. What you got? No. Give me that. <laughs> you stay out of there. Psst. I know you're plotting. You're plotting, I can see it. Oh, okay. Okay, back to the drawer. The Alamore Blush Palette. I've had this for quite a while. Look at the, the cat hair. Like, I can't escape it. I've had this blush palette for quite a while, but I don't ever use it. 
And I don't think it's any fault of the blushes themselves. I just have a lot of blush. So I feel like... I just don't feel the need to keep it. I'm going to get rid of this one. Another Morphe palette. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I have two more Morphe palettes. This is the 8W. Oh, I forgot I had this. There's some really beautiful blushes in here. Ooh, like I'm immediately drawn to that one, of course. And this one. Like what? We got some shimmery stuffs up here. I'm going to keep this one. I totally forgot I had that. And I believe this one is the, the cool toned version of that. This is really hard to do with one hand. Yeah, this is the 8C. Again, some really beautiful blush tones in here. Some of them is shimmery. Should I keep you? Ooh, I feel like I have these tones elsewhere. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. We are definitely making a dent. This is my... Jouer Bouquet d'Amour. <laughs> That's probably not how you say it. And it came busted, so that one's gone. And it was probably my favorite shade in the palette. It was a really beautiful bright pink. Do I need to keep this? What is that boy doing? You just hanging out? Hanging out while I'm filming my declutter? You too? Mischief? Mr. Mischief? Yeah, looking in my little bin. The bin of shame. Zeusy, he don't care. The he don't care. No judgment from you, huh? Okay, let's get back to the declutter. So, the Jouet, the Jouet, Jouet palette. I don't ever use it. These two tones here are really similar. I think this top one's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but that's the only difference. The bottom one is, they're just very, very similar, right? Uh... You know what? I think I'm finally going to part with this. I just don't need it. Another Tardis Pro Glow palette. This has a contour shade in here that's probably got all kinds of bacteria growing in it. This mug is old. Like old, 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 old. Actually, a lot of those are old. I'm, I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm not even going to take the chance on that one. This Cover Effects palette was a big point of contention when I got BoxyCharm because they sent me the wrong one. They were supposed to send me the version for the light to fair skin tone, or the fair to light skin tones, and I got the deep dark skin tone. Um, that shade up top right came broken, so I had to mush it back in. But I keep holding on to it just in case, just in case I do makeup for people. And I feel like I'm still there. Like, I've never even used this. Or, I, that's a lie. I used it one time. I created an eye look with it. But that's it. Other than that, it sits here untouched. So, like, is that even going to be a good contour shade? I don't know. Nope. I'm going to get rid of it. Why keep it? This feels good. The Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I just wasn't real impressed with this. Like, the top left shade here is a cream and it's just nothing like too spectacular, in my opinion. And it smells like crayons, which is usually a pretty good indication that something is bad. Oh, it smells really, really expired. This shade's really pretty, but it's just your typical like champagne highlight. I'm pretty sure I have that ten times over. Yep, I'm going to get rid of it. Wow, I'm doing pretty good. So let me just show you the progress. The right side is what I'm keeping. The left side is what I'm not keeping. Not too shabby. My contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like a staple, honestly. If I'm going to do makeup for other people, I can use this. I also like using this shade right here as a contour slash bronzer, so I'm going to keep that. The Coco Contour Kit from Too Faced. I bought this, I believe, from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or whatever. It was on a really deep discount, and I think I've used it like twice. It still has that Coco chocolate smell to it. Um, the bronzer is way too orange for my liking, but the contour is a really good shade for me. So, do I want to keep this entire palette for the contour shade? That's a pretty good contour shade for me. Not gonna lie. What do I want to do? I feel like if I depot that, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to depot that at some point in the future. If y'all want to see it, let me know. Maybe I'll depot some more stuff in my collection. going to depot it and going to get rid of the rest. There's no need for me to have this, like... I don't, I don't need all that, but I would like to have that contour shade. The Pure Sculptor. Yeah, I got this with like my very first BoxyCharm way back when. And look at the tones in here. 
Like this is not, this is not something that'll suit my skin tone. I have no idea why I kept it, but it's finally going to take a hike. Last item in the drawer is a BH Cosmetics Pro Contour Palette or Pro Studio, whatever it's called here. And this has a lot of bronzer and contour shades in here. And you've got some lightning shades up top. Look at that bottom row and how similar all of those tones look. I really just don't need it. I don't use it. I think everything is really warm leaning. That one's not too terrible, but the rest are really, really warm leaning. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm finally going to get rid of it. So, a really quick recap here. This is what I'm keeping. Not too bad. And that is what I'm getting rid of. <laughs> I'm doing really well and I'm super, super impressed with myself. <laughs> Especially how hard it is for me to get rid of things. So you all saw what this drawer looked like before with everything else in it. And this is currently where we are. So much better. Everything fits much more nicely in here. Um, I can't wait to kind of rearrange stuff after I'm done decluttering. So that's where I'm going to stop for tonight just because I ran out of time. Um, so I'm getting rid of all that. And all of that. I feel like I did pretty good. Pretty productive first day of decluttering. Okay, we're going to start over here and just start going through these foundations like rapid fire because off the top I know there's a bunch that need to go. Let's just start pulling those now. So starting in the top here, the Skin Love Foundation, as much as I want to hang on to it because I really did like it as a mixer, it's old. It's at least three years old, maybe even older, so that has got to go. This Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation is also very old. It's separated... Um, yeah, <laughs> that needs to go. The Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear. Again, I've had this for a very long time. It's almost gone. You can't really... Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, almost gone. Looks like it expired in 2019. That needs to go. We're cleaning house. The Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. Um... I've had this for several years, never really used it that much. Well, I use it a little bit, as you can see, uh, but that's that's got to go. It's old. Like, am I going to have any foundations left when I get done? I don't know. I really, really, really like this foundation. I don't know why they re they didn't recall it, but they pulled it from all the shelves. The A Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation, you can see the separation. Like, I, I barely used it because I was afraid to, but the times I used it, I loved it. But it is old as shit, and it's got to go. Anastasia can stay for now. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Am I gonna ever... You know what? I might use that as a concealer because it's pretty light and it's a... Uh, oops. Thick. Making a mess. The Becca Ultimate Cover. This one I got from TJ Maxx like last year and they don't make it anymore since Becca no longer exists. So I, I'm gonna keep it. This is really hard to do through the lens of a camera, by the way. Oh boy. My La Mer. It's semi-old. Definitely not the right shade, but I'm too stubborn to get rid of it. It's like two years, which is probably a little too long, but we're going to keep that one for now. The Tarte Found Sealer. This one expired in October of 2020. Um, bye. It sucks because that's also a really beautiful foundation, but yeah, I'm not trying to harm myself or uh, give myself breakouts. This one is new to my collection. The Zoeva. I feel like I used it once and didn't like it and never used it again. And there's some separation going on. You know what? Just get rid of it. I'm not going to use it. The Wander Beauty. This is another one that I actually really liked, but look at the separation. Ugh, that's got to go. It's great. It's a great foundation, which is why it's as low as it is. Um, but it's old. The Dream Urban Cover from Maybelline. I think I used it twice. Not my jam. That's gonna go. You guys. <laughs> I just recently bought the NARS, so that's staying. Um, speaking of the NARS, where's the other one? I must have thrown the other one away already. It was the first one I had like that because this one's a backup. So anyway, this one's newer. That's okay, that's okay. Um, the Nude Sticks is newer-ish. The Revlon Candid, I, this just wasn't something that I was all that excited about. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. This is liberating. The Makeup Revolution. Oh my. This one is a foundation stick, obviously. And it is 
uh, very old to my collection. I've had it for at least a couple years. Um, it needs to go. <laughs> I haven't used it in quite a while, and it's uh, it almost looks gray, doesn't it? But regardless, it's old. It, it needs to take a hike. This feels good. The pure can stay for now. The dose of colors can stay for now. Uh, let's see. The Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. I don't remember when I bought this. When did I buy this? Has it been that long? So this one actually expired in August. I like when they put the expiration dates on the bottom. Not that I'm always going to follow it, but this one expired August 2021. We're only a handful of months past that, so I'm actually going to hang on to that for now. For, for now, even though maybe I shouldn't. Um, this is just my personal preference. You do you. If you want to get rid of it by the expiration date, that's up to you. You probably should. I'm hard-headed and I don't want to get rid of everything. The Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo. I don't think I've ever used it and it's not quite as old as some of the other ones in here, so I'm going to leave that alone. The Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. I don't know. This one doesn't have like an actual expiration date and I have used it recently. I'm going to wait on that one. Look, you can actually see all the crap underneath of this little stand here. Um, the stuff up front. So this one. The Even Better from Clinique. You know, it's really not that old. Okay. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD is very old. They don't even have this formula anymore. It's actually almost gone. You can see like the separation towards the bottom. I think I shook it up a little bit ago, but really there's only about this much left. So I'm going to go ahead and pitch that one now. You know, I held on to this Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick for such a long time. And... It's just never been a favorite for me because of my skin type. I'm actually going to keep it. I'm going to try that one last time now that my preferences have changed just a little bit. So I'll do a video with that in the future and then I'm going to throw it away because it's pretty old. The Huda Beauty Stick Foundation is still good. Uh, the CYO is not that that old. That's new. So the Oma Beauty Say What Foundation, um, this one's three years old this month. I think that needs to go. It's got a 12-month shelf life on it. A lot of this stuff I bought at the very beginning of my makeup obsession, and I've just added little things here along, well, not little things. I've added quite a bit along the way, but a lot of it I bought within the first year of me being obsessed with makeup, or the first year or two, and I've, like, replaced stuff along the way and picked up little things, whatever, but yeah. So I think this is where I'm going to stop. Like, all this that I have up here now is either new, like, new-ish, or I know is okay, like it's not that old. So I feel like I got rid of quite a bit. Do I want to maybe revisit the back row? You know, I'm going to get rid of this one just because I got it from TJ Maxx. Who freaking knows how long they had it or if it was expired when they got it. Do I want to get rid of Like part of me is like, do I want to? I really didn't buy it that long ago, but it doesn't smell great. I'm a little concerned. Uh, that it's expired, so I'm gonna get rid of that one, too. I think I've worn it twice. Like, I have my staples I always reach for, and then every now and again I'll use something different, but I think that's where I'm gonna leave that. So, this is what I'm decluttering as far as uh, my foundations from up there. Not too bad. I'm, like, really dreading decluttering this just because there's so much in here, but I'm, I'm not gonna go ham, I don't think, but there's a couple that I know off the top need to go. This for Sally Skin Tune Blur, the last time I opened it, it was chunky. So, there's my sign. <laughs> oh, I know. Where's it at? This. Okay. The Becca First Light, is it First Light or Backlight? Backlight Priming Filter. I've owned this for quite a while. I've just feel like it's probably expired. It's got a 12-month shelf life on it. There is no way that I haven't had this. I've had this for probably at least two years, if not three. But I smelled it earlier, and it smelled fine. Uh, but I also haven't used it in a long time, so I'm going to pitch that. This is obviously brand new. It's not going anywhere. I think I recently picked this up, too, didn't I? I did. I got that one for free recently, so that can stay. A lot of these aren't that old. Am I ever going to use you? You know what? I think I'm going to let this go because it's an SPF and I've had it for at least probably three years. Never even used... I think I used it once. I'm sorry. When I was at the beach three years ago. So 
I feel like that's probably lost its, its effectiveness. That's got to go. This, oh gosh, the Illamasqua, what is this? The Matte Veil. This is such a weird consistency. I've used it a couple times. I don't like the way makeup sits over top of it. I'm actually going to let that go. Plus, I don't even know how old it is. Mm, is that it? Yeah, I don't know. Off the top of my head, I don't know what else I want to go out of here. I feel like the rust isn't too terribly old. I'm probably way off. Some of this stuff's probably extremely old. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. Okay, this is the drawer where I know there's some stuff that's got to go. The Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I don't know if you can see, but it's gone. Like, see the bottom there? I already bought a backup sitting right there. So this one can go ahead and go. Fantastic concealer, by the way. This Vanessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover. I didn't like it. It's way too heavy. It looks way too heavy on my skin. That can go. It's just like a little a little sample size that they were selling. Actually, I think there was, I think I had two of those. I'm not sure where the second one is, but if I find it, that one can also kick rocks. You know, I would hate to get rid of these, but they are so old. I'm pretty sure Marshmallow is my newer one out of the two. Where's the other one at? Right there. I'm pretty sure Swan is the older one. I'm going to keep Marshmallow and get rid of Swan because this one is hella old. As much as I hate to get rid of this, this is my original It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I used the absolute shit out of this, but this mug is at least like three years old. It needs to go. And I really don't use it that much anymore. It's just not as fantastic as I once remembered it being, so... The Double Wear from Estee Lauder. This one's really yellow. Like, do you see that? Very, very yellow. It's not my shade. I don't use it because of that, so that's going to go. This just feels so good to get rid of some of this. There it is. The other Danessa Myricks Vision Cream cover. That's got to go. This uh, Makeup Revolution one. I thought it was going to be like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and it's super sticky. And again, it's not exactly my favorite type of formula anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that because I don't ever use it. This Naked Skin from Urban Decay is very old. That's got to go. Is that all I want to get rid of? I feel like that's all I want to... That's all I want to do for right now, okay? I don't want to tra traumatize myself here. Okay, odds and ends over here. Like, uh, that'll never be my shade. That's got to go. These drops I picked up, I can't remember who I saw talking about these, but you're supposed to be able to mix them in with, like, lotion and different foundations and whatnot to give them more um, color. But when I look at it, like, it's pretty uh, pigmented for my skin tone. You know, cool beige just might not be my shade. So I'm actually going to get rid of that as well. But you know what? That might work as like a bronzer. Hold on. See, I had to go doing that, didn't I? That's actually a decent bronzer shade or like a decent contour shade, right? You know what? I just figured something out. We're going to keep that for now. I love the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. It's great. Um, this is fantastic. I use these all the time. This is to change the warmth or how cool your foundation is. Makes it more neutral if it's too yellow, whatever. So I love that. The Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. This is almost gone. I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't really reach for it. Oh, the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. Well, you know, I bought this from... Was it Beauty Bay? Pretty sure. Quite a long time ago. Pretty sure I had this in my first several videos I ever made, which was quite a long time ago. It doesn't smell bad, but it is pretty old and I do not use it. And I really don't see the point in keeping something that I know for a fact that I don't really care for anymore and I don't really use. So, And it's probably expired, so I'm going to get rid of it. The Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. I don't know why I felt like I needed this. I don't use it. I really wanted to. 
but I just don't. I think I got it from TJ Maxx, so it's not like I spent a bunch of money on it. And I just don't ever find myself reaching for this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it, too. The Smashbox Studio Skin 24-Hour Hydra Foundation. I'm going to keep that for now. I can use it to mix, and I do actually really like that. The BB Cream from Arborean, I really like that. I've never used this, and I keep telling myself I'm going to, and I still haven't, and it's starting to get old. Do I need to throw this away now? Dang it, Tati. <laughs> I mean, God, I'm determined to use it. I can't. I can't throw it away. I can't bring myself to do it. The Sephora Bright Future Skin Tint, I don't ever use it. I'm just really not the biggest fan of it. I'm going to pitch it. The Glowish. This is such a glowy product. It's good to mix, though, so I'm going to keep it. Oh, look. It's a car key. Good God, what do we have back here? Oh, more mixers. More car keys. Tinted moisturizer. You know what? This is actually really neutral. I feel like that might work. I'm going to hang on to that. I need to give that a try. This Dermacol I picked up because it was like, covers tattoos and is like the most... <laughs> The most high coverage product in the entire world, and I've never freaking used it. So many products like that in my collection, it's ridiculous. It really isn't that old, though, so why don't we hang on to it? You never know. Yeah, and actually, there's an, uh, an expiration date on this one, and it doesn't expire till the end of this year, so I'm going to hang on to that for now, even though I probably, probably still won't use it by the time December rolls around, but we'll see. Maybe I need to make it a point, too. Okay, not too shabby. We got rid of some stuff. Now, I have pulled several items because they are in um, I Shop My Stash for this month. So, you're not going to see those items in, obviously, in my drawers because they're in a basket right now. But, is there anything I wanted to clutter out of here? I feel like I have a really good set of products in here. I really don't, really don't want to get rid of anything. Um, the only thing that I would probably pull is this Lancome Absolute Powder. First of all, as much as you pay for this, look at this shit. Like, isn't that crazy? How cheap is that? I was sold on this because of Jaclyn Hill. Okay, I saw her raving about this. But it's orange, and it turns my foundation orange. And there's just no way for me to get around that. Like, it's going to turn my foundation orange no matter what I do. But some a part of me just doesn't want to let it go. Like, I don't want to let it go. This back here, I think this is Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline Master Fix. I don't ever use it. I'm just going to get rid of it. It's super old anyway. This Fit Me powder back here. I should have picked up the Translucent if they had one. But this one's light, fair, and it still has this, like unnatural kind of orangey tint to it so I'm gonna get rid of that one but I'm really not trying to go ham hey, getting rid of a bunch of stuff I'm keeping that I'm sorry <laughs> just weird about getting rid of stuff that I paid a lot of money for so that's where I'm gonna leave it I don't feel like I have an overwhelming number of powders I have a good bit of loose pressed uh, glowy matte whatever so I'm gonna stop there for that one moving down to bronzers and contours however I feel like there's a few in here that can go. I'm not trying to do like a savage declutter where I get rid of half my collection. That's not what this is all about. But the ones that don't work for me, I, I just don't see the point in hanging on to them. Now, just to let you know, like a little disclaimer, I don't necessarily throw all of this stuff away when I declutter it. I kind of keep it, but I don't keep it in my main collection. I, I'll keep it in boxes or something. You got to figure if I film content and I want to do comparisons or a trip down memory lane and look at old products or whatever. I like to have those to be able to do that with. And if I throw everything away, I'm not going to have that. So that's just me being a pack rat. Um, but I'm being transparent and letting you know. So that being said, what do I want to declutter? Let's start off with this one, shall we? The Sephora Bronzer in Mallorca. This one is just way too... Too much of that orangey shade, like that light brown, but it's got that orange tone to it, and it's just not flattering on my skin tone, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. 
it's sad because it's it's actually really new. I just got that maybe six months ago, if that. But, you know, if I'm not going to use it, there's really no point in me keeping it. This bronzer from Becca. This one is in Capri Coast. I feel like this one's also very orange. You know, it just doesn't work for me. It's just not a shade that I reach for because it's too... It's just too orangey. Yep, so I'm actually going to let that one go too. I don't, again, see the point in keeping it when I don't wear it at all. This Bare Minerals one is actually like kind of a weird tone, but it it's not terrible. It's a little bit more cool than like, you know, that. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. The number seven's not terrible. The two-faced one. So this one is a little tough because... I do like it, but look how orange this one is. And the other side's too dark, so I have to swirl them together. And then it's a little iffy as to whether or not it's going to work for me, but I really don't want to get rid of it quite yet. I do want to try that a little bit more. This matte rev uh, makeup revolution, I'm sorry. This one, however, is way too orange for me. Just, you can tell straight on by looking at it. Like, it's very, very orange. So, yeah, I don't have any interest in keeping that one either. I, I think I've used it, like, once. Not a fan. This Kylie bronzer I've had forever. I used to love this one. This one's in the shade Tequila Tan. But when I look at it now, it looks really orange, doesn't it? Kind of like the other ones I've been showing you. Well, it's not quite as bad as the other ones, so I'm going to hang on to it for now. Can I even get back here to the other ones? We got a lot going on here, y'all. Okay, I pulled some more products forward here. The Sephora Contour. Mm. This one is straight up taupe. Like, do you see that? It's not even a, well, it's kind of a gray, but it's more so like a taupe. That is not a good contour shade for me. I don't really know who that would be a good contour shade for. I'm going to get rid of it because I'm just not going to use it. This Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Baked. It's pretty old. Uh, I didn't really use that much of it. It's too orange for my liking. And I picked it up because everybody was raving about it. Everybody loved this one. And I just didn't. And I couldn't bring myself to get rid of it because I kept telling myself I'd use it. And then I just didn't use it up. So, it's gone. Oh boy. The Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Mm. This is the original formula. And it's pumpkin pie colored. I could never bring myself to get rid of this because of what it is and how much it cost. Um... But that's the color of it. It is very pumpkin pie. It is not a bronzer shade for me. It looks like I smeared pumpkin pie on my face. And I think I'm finally going to bite the bullet and let it go. Like, honestly, what is the point? Why am I hanging on to something I can't use? It's been real, Chanel. Peace out. The Marc Jacobs bronzer. This one is in Tantric. I really wanted... Uh, what was the other one? Tantastic. That's the one I wanted. But I got Tantric. And this one is very orange. Yeah, it's just not a good shade, man. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get rid of this. I mean, we're making a little bit of progress here. I've got... Oh, this definitely isn't going anywhere. I've used the crap out of it. Something spilled. This butter bronzer has seen better days. Uh, my daughter has used this one quite a bit. I don't really use it. Used to love it, but again, this one is a little bit on the orangey side for me. It's not quite as bad as some of the other bronzers, though, so I'm actually going to hang on to it just for nostalgia's sake. I've got a backup of the Hollywood Contour Wand because it's so great. And it's hard to get a hold of sometimes. Trial size version of the, um, the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. I'm also going to get rid of that one just because I don't ever use it and... I just don't see the point keeping it. I think that's all I want to get rid of on this side. Let me see if there's anything over here. I cannot bring myself to get rid of this freaking Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because of how expensive it is. So I'm going to hang on to it, try to get some use out of it. I don't think I want to get rid of anything over here. I really don't like the powder bronzer in this Patrick Ta duo. But I really love the contour slash bronzer shade up top. Um, so I'm going to keep it for that. Here we go. Here's something I can get rid of. Well, first of all, the Sungasm bronzer from Catrice. Looks a little orange, doesn't it? 
Yeah, it's just really not the shade I look for. So I'm going to get rid of that. The, oh my gosh, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit or Contour Palette. Do y'all have any idea how old this is? Ew, they're like dry feeling. This is just super old. I don't want to put that on my face or anyone else's face. Let me smell it. It doesn't smell very good. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of that. This is really old as well, but it's got a lot of powders in it. It's got creams and powders. So the powder side, I would say I really do like this contour shade. The bronzer's too orange. I'm not going to use those. Are they removable pans? They're not removable, so do I want to keep this just for that? Because I can't use the other side since it's so old. Like, these are old, old. Ugh. Hello. Oh, man. I kind of don't want to get rid of it. Isn't that terrible? It's just a really good contour shade. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep it. I'm doing it. I think that's all I want to get rid of in here. So, yeah, I think we're going to leave it like that blushes oh the blushes this is a very tough drawer for me to even look at i'm not good at decluttering blushes because i love blush and you cannot go wrong with a pretty pink red orangey pink what red whatever powder you can't go wrong with a blush so do i even want to get rid of anything like i need to though like I, you can't even fit anything in here it's ridiculous this is so tough. I really don't know why I'm hanging on to this. It's a blush light from Melt and Nevermore. It's just like a shimmery pink powder. Am I going to ever use this? I kind of want to try, but it's definitely too deep for it to be like a highlighter on me. I think you're supposed to use it as like a blush topper, blush light. I love my MAC. That's not going anywhere. A lot of this, some of this stuff is new. It's just way too much. This guy likes to be picked. <laughs> he likes to be picked. Hi. What's he doing? Hmm? It's kind of hard to show. What's he doing, baby? What's he doing? He cries and cries until I pick him up like a baby. We're going to have to come back to this another day because I'm getting tired. The cat's getting needy. I need to get in the shower. I'm on blushes and it's not going to be an easy task. So I got through foundations and four drawers, which to me, that's pretty damn good. So when I come back, we'll do blush and we'll get into the rest of my collection, which I still have plenty to go through. We've got lip products, which is going to take forever because I have a lot of lip products, um, blushes. Jesus, we, we just have a lot. So stay tuned.